Hi again, and welcome to the building of my Harry Potter castle. So this is going to be video number two. I was going to stream live, but I weighed up the odds and I've realised that I really don't have the time to do a live stream and not for short periods of time. So maybe later on in the future, I'll rethink it. But I've decided to do another video. So I'm going to put a video out every couple of days and just take time in enjoying the build as well as take time to talk about how my day's been really because although I do have family that I can talk to my wife and my son um, sometimes it's just nice for people to know how life is for a carer really because it can be really 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 difficult and I don't want to turn this into some sort of depressing uh, video of how bad my day's been because that's not what I want I I want to be able to enjoy building Lego and I want to be able to um, speak just so that I don't hold anything in really more than anything but also to try and hope that somebody out there may feel the same may be struggling may just need to know that other people are going through the same thing so I I've been a carer I initially came to care for my mum but I've ended up really sort of caring for two people because my mum is my younger brother's registered carer but she's finding it hard to, to do it by herself and I'm quite able to do it so uh, I'm sort of caring for two people at the minute but some days it can be quite a struggle and other days it's uh, it's a joy so um, again I don't want to depress anybody or uh, bring anybody down but I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy building this Lego whilst also seeing how people are I want to know how you are I want to know that you know you're okay and that there are people out there that care for family that finding it difficult at the moment especially under the current current circumstances and you know but I just want to enjoy this build so so here we go right so we've got we have bag number one okay so if everything's back to front I'm, I can only apologize but bag number one so we're gonna I always open everything so carefully so I'm gonna open my bag nice I say nice and carefully. I try to. Okay, so and obviously it's got a couple of. Oh, look, look, look at these. Did he kick? Now these are the micro figures. Now I knew they were going to be small. I'm going to have to open it just to. I knew these were going to be small, but these are smaller than small. I mean micro, I know what the word micro means, it means tiny, but blimey. Right, are you ready? <laughs> right, I'm going to get rid of this bag. I do actually have over here some sealed, some proper sealed bags, which I'm going to put it in so I can take them out as I want. Look, look how, oh, hang on, let's hold it there, there we go look how small that is okay is that one okay I think that's Lord Voldemort yeah could be oh find it hard to hold I think that's Minerva McGonagall and so forth. There is just, I think that's a, a filch. <laughs> These are so tiny. I have no idea who that is. But anyway, I'm sure we'll work them all out, but there's quite a few there. So we'll count how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we've got twelve micro characters there. And I'm absolutely aghast in how small they are. But that's okay. I don't mind them being small, but I just didn't expect them to be that small. Sorry if I've just knocked the table. I apologise. Okay, so we need to open this bag again. So we're gonna we're gonna do this because I'm a bit of a talker, so if I if I talk too much and I end up boring everyone to tears, I can only um I can only apologise really. So there we go. So they're the bags. So I'm gonna tip this bag out. Bag number one. I'm gonna place that there. Okay, so I've got all my pieces. I've got big pieces and smaller pieces and I've got my teeny tiny pieces on this side. So, let's try and organise myself because I have to be organised. So I'm going to open my booklet to page one. I'll be more like page 12 actually. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so what it's asking for is me to build... Uh, Gof Godfrey Gryffindor. Okay, so um, I need to find his. I need to find his body part. So I've got his. I've got his head. This camera's not very good, so I apologise. Got his hair. Got his body. Got his legs. Okay, in one of here. One of these bags. I should have a sword. There we go a sword and we should have a set of wands okay so we've got the uh, wands so I'm only going to break one of those off and I'll leave those ones there so there's 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 a wand okay so we're going to put him to oh I should have a cape as well so here we are oh, here we go look the little box that has the um the cape in oh I don't know what it is about the video every time I put a video on notice my cuckoo clock goes off so so we're going to open this. Okay, so I'm assuming it's the... We've got quite a few bits in here, so um, I'm assuming these are for other people, so I best not throw that away. So we'll keep hold of that for the minute. Um, I'm assuming it's the, um, the, the, the brown cloak, so we'll use that. So we've got his legs, and we put his body on. Oh. <laughs> put the legs around the wrong way there's a good start okay and then we're putting the, the cape on like so okay and then obviously it's then his head And then his hair, we'll put his hair on. Oh, that's very, oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, he's supposed to have a beard. Oh, okay, we've missed out the beard, so I need to take his head back off. See, this is how bad I am at following instructions. Okay, so I found the beard. So we put the beard around the right way. Then we put on the head. Like so. Yep. And then we put on the hair. Now that's more like it. <laughs> Try again. There we go. If, um, we'll focus in on him. But there you go. So we, we give him his sword. and then we give him his wand as well so he's got a sword and a wand because obviously he's a wizard but he had the sword of Gryffindor as well if you remember rightly it was given to Harry Potter when he helped to feed the basilisk basilisk even okay so there we go so that's Godfrey Gryffindor Okay, so we put him there. Okay, 
so here we go we're going to start with looking for the different parts so it's asking us to um, to look for um, one of these and one of these and she's asking for two of those so I need two of those which I've got and then we put them together like thus I don't know if you can see from from there maybe I should just put it in front of the camera it might be a bit easier and I don't think you can see so we, we build it together like that okay and then we put the the, the grey piece in the middle like so okay okay then we get a, a what I call a plank get the large plank and then we put it on like so okay so now we need um, what I call a flat L-shaped grey piece this is how I used to describe it to my brother it helped him out quite a lot actually when I was um, trying to find pieces um, because to try and describe to an autistic person the bits that one needs to, to build certain parts um, you know, I had to make up names for things, so um, so I called it an L shape, a, uh, a dark grey, flat L shape. Okay. And a square. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. It's just finding the right, it's just finding the right pieces. Now I've put everything out onto the table so I can see, so I can see clearly. Um, but I must say, I'm not doing very well already. Or maybe they're brown. They're brown. That's why they're not grey. They're brown. So I'm actually, I've actually put that piece on wrong. So we've started on a really bad foot and I can only apologize everybody but I'm feeling a little bit nervous doing this even though it's not actually um, it's not actually live and I'm, I'm getting a bit rubbish um, about colors I notice I'm getting quite rubbish about colors so it's actually like a um, a brown which is actually that so um, let's do that one again so we'll put that on there okay so we start again okay we've done the plank right the two L shapes so we need two two of these so that's one got another one and then we need another one of the uh, the brown squares uh, flat squares which I've got there and I've got one what I call a seat is that I need uh, four of those so um, we'll do that and I needed two of those other ones, which is there, and I've got two of those. Right, okay. So what happens on here then is, okay, starting with the L, that goes in the corner, like so. And then we put on what I call a seat there. And then we have a square. And then we put on another seat. Then we've got the square there already, and then we have another seat. Okay, like so. And then another square. And then another seat. And then we put on an L shape. There. So it looks like that. Okay, so we turn the page. Okay, so we need two white, which we got there. We need two orange with the twos, and then do we need four of those? So one, two, three, four. Okay, so back onto this. Okay, we put an orange one in there, and we put an orange one in there. We put a white one in there, and a white one in there. Okay, 
and then we have the small well the long they just go along the back like so like so all right so that's how that's how it's looking okay so now we need um what i call two flat smooth sides so they're they're small and they're flat so in two of those which i've got uh, same with flat but longer ones i need two of those i need three square ones that are flat on all the sides so the, there's those so i need three of those and I need eight of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Right. So now we're going to uh, flatten this off a bit. So with my smooth ones, I need one on the end, one on the other end. get it on like so okay need flat ones in the middle one two three we need the long ones on the back like so and then we have um, these funny ones these funny little ones here I'm gonna go on the top like so it gives me a little more of a smoother smoother look how's everyone's day been anyway um it's been a quiet saturday so far but i don't want to speak too soon because sometimes saturdays do go a bit pear-shaped if i'm needed at home but so far so far it's not too bad which is why I've taken the opportunity to uh, to do this. Right, so now I've got some coloured flat ones that I need to look for. So I've got a green one, a blue one, a yellow one, and a burgundy one. And basically they fit on the front. So they want us to put the burgundy on the end here, then the yellow, then the green and then the blue now these are all going to be houses so this is where I need to find the stickers so I'm just going to grab the stickers out of the box because I always keep it to hand in case I need anything so we're going to use these ones at the bottom here 60, 61, 62 and 63 okay so 60 first which is obviously Gryffindor and the tongue sticking out because I'm trying to concentrate I think it looks like it's going to rain today I don't know how it's going to be for everyone everywhere else but it's been a bit of a funny day today there we go uh, number 62, which is green, to Slytherin, and last but not least, Ravenclaw, and blue is my favourite colour, when I did the, um, the sorting house, the house sorting uh, with the hat, sorting hat online, was actually a Gryffindor so I was quite surprised pleasantly surprised so there's that okay so we're going to put this piece to one side for a minute and we're going to put the stickers back so I don't lose them okay right now on to page 15 we need one of these which I've got I need one of those and I need a blue clear button I call them okay so we have the blue thing we put the brown on it like so and then we put the blue underneath like that it looks like that okay 
and then we get a black stick um, we need a yellow button and a black button okay so we get the stick as you know we don't we get the buttons first the yellow one and the black one so the black one sits on top of the yellow one and then we put the stick in like so it can only go so far and then we put the black stick into the top of this button here so it looks like like that okay and then we get what looks like a window and a, what I call a brown slope the brown, oh you can't really see it can you there we go, a brown brown slope like that and basically the brown slope goes on the front of the window what would be a window okay now you've got it around yeah I've got it around the right way and then that sits on there like that now I've got to make five of those so if you bear with me while I just um, piece all of these together and yeah yeah I'm gonna, I'll keep video I was gonna I was gonna stop the video so I could make these and then come back to it but don't see the point if I'm gonna build it I'm gonna build it so put those in black stick the yellow and the black just hope my battery doesn't run out on my phone but it, it might do <laughs> but if that's the case that's what will happen okay so that's two but we're doing alright we are But you know, Lego is a good way to um, Lego is a good way to de-stress. Really, I get a bit hot sometimes when I'm doing Lego because I concentrate so much that it gets me a bit like I've done a workout. Really, <laughs> you can imagine me doing a workout. No, I don't think so. So you know it's a pastime that I've always enjoyed doing it I've mainly mainly done it um, for my brother really um, because you know he loves Lego um, and it's always something that he's enjoyed but he's never been able to do it himself because his autism um, stops that from 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 happening really because it's not something that his mind can can get his head around following instruction is not always the um it's not always easy and you know he was ever so grateful that um he was ever so grateful that uh i uh, said i'd help him with it really because his his castle is 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 uh, uh disney castle is absolutely um absolutely fantastic and, and I can't get over the uh, the architecture on everything that Lego comes up with and the builders that build everything uh, the vision is just clever and, and overwhelming in how they how they do everything and I'm I'm utterly I've got that around the wrong way I've, I'm utterly surprised as to um, so everything's so technical you know it's a bit much like architecture really um, it's just so it's just so clever how they how they do it all and, and it's I don't know maybe I'm just talking a load of rubbish but I couldn't come up with any I'm not that clever to come up with a build like this you know when you have to build something that's already been created through the mind of somebody else and uh, let's be honest uh, the Harry Potter films brilliant brilliant the books are fantastic you know and just everything surrounding the whole thing it's truly it is truly magical 
So we're moving on to another page. So I've done the five, I'm assuming they're little boats. Okay, so we're moving on now. So we're gonna get this great big gray holy thing and we need two black connectors so they're um like that and we need to put one in there and one in there like so and then we've got to get a gray block with a sticky thing it sticks out and we get another one smaller one and one goes on this side here and one goes here, like so. They do move, so. Okay. And then we need to get a blue four, which I need to get. Make sure I get it round the right way. So that that stands there. So the blue bit goes on the end here, like so. And then we have uh, a green. One of these. And that sits on the double block on this side here like so okay and then we've got this great big what I call a wing it's not a wing but you know and I need uh, one of these okay and if I get the right way round that goes right, let's get this up the right way so it all connects together that sits on there like so And then we get this one, and that sits along there, like so. Hopefully. Okay, so then we need another one of the grey gray bricks that have the sticky outy bit. So on this particular point, we turn it upside down now, so it's that way around. Okay, and this one sits here, like so. And then we have two, what I call shoes, the green, and one sits in the front of the grey brick that we've just put on, like so. I apologise about the lighting, um, it's either, sometimes it's too bright in here and other times it's not bright enough. Okay, and then we need um, a green, little green slope that sits in this piece. So, I turn it on that way. Okay. Okay. And now we need um, is it what I call a grey plank? Two of these green bricks. Uh, a brown L shape. And. A little one with a claw in here, like that. Okay, so the plank, right, let's start with the green because it's easier. Right, we put the green on the corner. Okay, and then we put the blank, the plank next to it, like that. Okay, and then we've got the other green one that sits down there the little thing that sticks out with the claw goes on the end it's there and then the L shape goes there okay 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 now I've got to put that to one side now as well okay so now I need to get this piece here with two long skinny planks. I used to call them sticks when I tried to name them to my brother. Sticks with bobblies on the top. Six, two, four, six, yeah. Okay, so they go on like so. And then we get the little wings, they're called little wings. One is in brown and one is in gray. Okay, and I turn that upside down and the grey one goes on one side and the brownie one goes on the other side like so okay, so turning the page 
this funny looking thing. I wouldn't even know what to name it if my brother needed to get it for me. It sits on the underside. Looks a bit like the Millennium Falcon. Doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, and then we go for another, if I can find it, one of those. And a small flat one. So I turn it back over. That goes on the end. And that goes on the top. Obviously I'll straighten it up a bit because it's not very straight. Like so. Okay. Then we have to find six of these. Okay. So we need six of those. Okay, and then they go around the edge facing inwards. So all six of those fit on, she says. Okay, like so. Okay. Then I need to find two more of these, which I've got, and two of the little ones. Okay, and then they go down the side on top of what I've just put on. One on either side, with a single one in the in 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 the front of that. Okay, and then that sits on the front of there so if I take it off see that piece there that piece goes on the front like so okay okay so now I need another one of these and that basically sits on the top so it's in mirror to what was on the bottom so that's the piece there okay right now we're going for a large wing another block with the sticky out thing a smaller block with the sticky out thing and another block uh, stick with four on the top and then two slopes light green slopes pp color slopes okay so i get the uh the wing thing and i put that on the front and then i put the big block next to it on the front then i put a slope And then I put the slope on the. Oh no, I don't. Put that on first. And then I put the other slope on there. Okay. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Okay, and then this. If I turn it round. If I look at the right piece, I'm just studying it. The holes that are there, okay, and then this slips in there, like that. Okay, so I'll pull it out again. Okay, so we've got this piece. And that connects in there, like so. Okay, so now I need one of these. And I need one of those. Okay, and right, this is going to be an interesting bit because I need another sticker, and it's sticker number eight. So bear with me while I find sticker number eight. Nine and ten. There we are, sticker number eight. Okay. 
that goes in the middle of this long piece here. I need to get it in the right place because I don't want to look so stupid. Oh, that'll have to do. Okay. And then if I get this round the right way, that sits up there like so and this brick sits next to it like that okay but obviously the camera sort of turns it around so okay so I need another one of those and then I need four uh, three of those so I've got those and then I need two that have a funny sort of edge edge thing on it okay so one goes next to the one we've already put in and the brick with the end goes on like that okay and then we do the other side as well okay uh, that sits on the top the other two go down the side to match basically mimic the other side so that we've got that Okay. Then we have, I call them a bridge, a small bridge, that sits over the end piece, like so. And then we have a small plank, and then we have six grey ones of these, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when I was doing the Disney castle, I always missed stuff and sometimes I had to go back to um, put in what I'd missed out because I'd either missed a, a section, you know, a part, like one piece. Never was ever too dramatic, so I'm hoping that it's not going to be too dramatic when I do this and I'm not going to leave anything out. So sometimes I might double back to make sure that I've done everything because I've, I've found parts before that I've missed out. Okay, so we need two sloping, grey sloping bricks, and they go on either side, a bit like a roof really, isn't it? It's a roof. Okay, and then I need um, a grey square, and then two roof type I'll put it there because it's two roof type do we what's it um, two black buttons two yellow buttons sorry about the light um, okay so they go on top so um, this one sits it's pretty straightforward actually it just looks a bit like a, a bit like a roof and then uh, we put the the uh, black on top of the yellow button on both of them. Black on top of the yellow. And then they sit upside down on the front. So they look like little lights. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Camera's trying to, that's it, focus me out. Okay. And then we need a, a, a cream shoe, and we need a green shoe, and we need an L shape fat brick. Okay, and they, if I turn this sideways, the cream one goes on the front, then it's the green one, and then it's the L shape one. Okay, it looks like these bits here I'll just put on okay and then they're saying that's it but I seem to have a large grey piece left so I need to make sure that I haven't missed it somewhere because I do have a habit of missing stuff but they're all spares because there's always spare pieces so let me just check because I am really really terrible at missing stuff out Okay. 
So I'm just double checking that I haven't missed. Ah, that could be it. That one and that one. Okay, so let me just um, let me just uh, get my bearings because that's the boat. Yeah. So I have missed it. See, it always happens. Always happens. I always miss something. That's why I always double check. So these are the bits I missed here. The two, the two cream, these two brown, uh, gray ones. Okay. So I've done that now. But the rest are definitely spares. So they always leave a couple of little bits left over. So I'll just turn over just to make sure that I've got everything now. Okay, that's how it should look. And that's how it does look. So we're good. We're good. That is bag one. So I'm gonna put the spare bits just back in here. It's uh, a beard and a few a small pieces, just in case you know you lose anything. But there we go. So that's um that's basically the first bit. So I'm assuming old Godric here will stand on his platform. There we go. And the other characters will be there another time. So there's the four there. Uh, one, obviously. That's the boat yard, the bit where the boat is. And that is basically the corner edge of some of the basic bottom. So, and, and obviously we've got five little boats as well, which obviously they've made it so that they stand up. Well, you can't really see from there, can you? there we go they all stand like so I hope I haven't bored you um, I hope um, that the step by step I do try to describe things might not describe them particularly well but I thank you for watching if you watch um, we're going to do bag two um, on another video we're going to take this a bit of time like I said and I'll, and I'll bring them out as they're as they're ready to come out so please enjoy um, if you've got this ready to build and you want to build along, please do. But if you want to just get on with it, please do. If you've already done it, then let me know. And um, if you're going to do it, let me know. But please subscribe, please like, please share, please pass it around, tell your friends. Um, like I said, this is uh, videos that any age can watch because I'm not one of these people that have to swear every five minutes just to get my point across. But I'm also a carer, and this is one way of letting my letting my hair down. So I hope you've enjoyed. You take care now. Please stay safe under the current circumstances that we're in. Please look after your neighbours and friends. Please give any help to anyone that may need it at this time. And please remember that, as Sir Tom Moore once said, um, it's not word for word, obviously, because I can't quote him right now. Um, there, there is a better future. The, the future will be brighter the sun will shine again so please remember that take care and uh, watch out for each other and I'll see you again soon ciao for now